Let's balance the equation for HClO4 plus P2O5. This is perchloric acid. This is diphosphorus pentoxide. Usually this exists as P4O10, and then this is an empirical formula. But I was asked to balance this equation, so let's do it. I've counted the atoms up. The really big thing to be careful about is you have four oxygens here and five here. That gives you nine. Over here you have seven oxygens and three here. That gives you ten. Make sure you count those up correctly before you try to balance this equation. Let's leave the oxygens till last. That's a good strategy. And let's leave the hydrogens till later as well. Why don't we just do the chlorine? We could put a two in front of the perchloric acid. So this two, it goes to everything. One times two. That gives us two hydrogens. One times two. So we've balanced the chlorine atoms. Let's update the oxygens. So we have two times four, that's eight, plus the five here, that gives us 13. Let's do the phosphorus next, because we're leaving the oxygens and the hydrogens until last. Put a two in front of the HPO3. So now one times two, that actually balances the hydrogens. One times two, we have our phosphorus atoms balanced. Let's update the oxygens. We have seven here, plus two times three is six, that equals 13. And this equation is actually balanced. I thought this was going to be a lot more difficult with all these oxygen atoms everywhere. But this is the balanced equation for the reaction HClO4 plus P2O5. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for HClO4 plus P2O5. Thanks for watching.